Guys, the chickens here bringing you another Pimwich video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be going over Seekers. We have them maxed, we have them unlocked. Or should I say, we have them unlocked and we have them maxed, and we're going to uh, go over how to use them. Now, Seekers at four engines are absolutely unstoppable. You basically win every match because nobody else has them. At five engines, it's a bit of a different story. You got to mix them in with other troops. You can't really. I mean, like, it depends on the base, but for the most part, you can't just use all Seekers. It just really doesn't. Uh, it, it just really doesn't work. It's just not the best strategy. Um, there's better ways to use them. So we're going to go over that. And let's also get into uh, some tech tree stuff first. So what I'm actually going to do uh, is I think I'm going to play it safe. Now, we do want to get bullet really quickly because bullet's very good, especially with seekers. You can just take so much damage. Um, but I'm going to go way back a ways. I'm going to go way back a ways. I'm actually going to unlock boom cannons. Uh, for 28 keys, which was expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. So, we still got 11 days left, so, um, you know, we still got plenty of time to <coughs> to get everything that we need out of the tech tree. And in another four minutes, we're getting another chest, so that's going to be good. And I think from here, we're actually going to go ahead and max out the shock launcher, uh, just because it gives it a little bit more health. Um, it's a little bit more more annoying to use artillery on if you uh, need to take them out if the opponent's using seekers or whatever um, Other than that, it's not really a huge bonus, but I figure we might as well do it because we don't uh, have much else to spend on so Here's what we're doing now We could try some all seeker raids and I could show you but um, Actually, I can just show you this ignore the rest of the defeats. I was just uh, experimenting with seekers for the most part, but uh so here's how they work. So almost all of your five engine room bases are going to have this layout uh, for the most part. And your your seekers, um, they go right up the middle, and then they spread out to both the sides. And what you want to do is spend your GBE on uh, taking out shock launchers, shocking splash defenses, and smoking your seekers because they don't respond to flares, obviously. So um, you're basically stuck between the three of those things, and it's, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. So... We'll get into it a little bit here, um, and we'll start off with, so here's basically the better way to do it. Here's the better way to do it. So we use the heavies, and we use the bombers, one, two, three, and we use brick, and we essentially do the attacks just how we've always done it, right? Nothing really changes here that drastically. Um, and then we have the seekers that come in for kind of like the second part of the attack. Because the thing with these five engine room bases, not every engine room is really well guarded. Sorry if I sound weird. I got a bit of a, a cold thing going on. Um, chicken's having some sinus sinus issues, so it's hard to talk. But um, one, two, three, four. Um, but yeah, this is basically how we want to do things here. So once we take down these uh, engine rooms on the right, then we can move ahead onto the left, and we'll have a ton of GBE, and the seekers are really going to. Uh, <clears throat> they, they're really going to um, come in here quickly. So we'll put them out now. That was probably a little bit too late. Um, I could have thrown them out a little bit earlier, but that's okay. So I'm going to take out this shock mine. And I'm going to wait till the seekers come up this way. Okay, now we're going to throw out this shock mine. And we're going to go with a shock right about here. You see, now we have all this gunboat energy to just let the seekers kind of come in and, uh, and, and get a ton of work done. So we'll go like this. We'll go critters, and then we'll go seekers. So... <laughs> Not the fastest time, I mean, that was a little bit on chicken for uh, being a little bit slow there, but that's kind of the idea. Do you want to use heavies and bombers still? Or I've even seen some people use scorchers and bombers, that also is a thing. Uh, I don't have scorchers yet, so we'll go over that in another video, but um, you kind of, like, when you get seekers, it's like, do what you've been doing, do what's been working for you, and then just throw, like, two or three seekers in at the end, and uh, it's going to just speed up that time, rather than waiting for the bombers to come all the way across the base you just splash the seekers out and then they go because they don't have enough defenses to um to take down everything so that's a good way to do it right there now let's see what buddy's doing over here so we were at two minutes and 30 seconds you see this guy's using all bombers and sure he's probably going to take my base down but it's going to take him that extra 30 40 seconds once you open it up at five engines to walk across the whole map so that's basically the difference right there because if we had Seekers right now, nothing is stopping him, right? Mortars, not a big deal. Uh, boom cannons, not a big deal. Um, so yeah, it took him almost an extra minute to get through our base versus um, us going through his. So that's the difference, guys. That is the difference. 46 seconds. Wow, crushed him. 
First one of the day, apparently. Uh, it's just because we're on a weird time zone. So, anyways, let's uh, let's try another one here. And you know, you can switch it up depending on the base, obviously. And like like I said before, depending on what's working for you, what's not working for you. Um, if you like heavies and bombers, you like scorchers and bombers. You're probably gonna have some sort of mix of bombers, seekers, and like riflemen, warriors. Probably not warriors, but riflemen or heavies, something like that. Um, and it's gonna be essentially that, like you know, that's how it's gonna work for the most part. So. So we're going to go Seekers on the left, and we're going to go Heavies and Bombers and Brick on the right. So let's start this off with 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, and then Brick. Now he's got a lot of stuff here on the right. Like basically his whole, all of his defenses are over here. So we're going to go like this. And 1, 2, 3, 4. I find it's actually worth taking out the Shock Launchers like that. 1, 2, 3. Okay, now we'll go Critters over on this way. It just prevents the heavies from sitting on top of all of the, um, from sitting on top of all the, um, on, on, on all the bombers, and then your raid just kind of, like, falls apart before it even starts. Um, now this is interesting. He's, it looks like he's got a bit of an anti-critter layout here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stagger them. I'm going to put one boat there, and then one boat here. Now, I could just throw critters in here, which is probably what I'll do instead, actually. Um... It costs a ton of GBE, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, I'm going to shock here next. Oof, it's getting a little greasy. It's getting a little bit greasy, guys. That's okay. We're still 252. Okay, we should be fine there. And I'm going to shock over here. Uh, I don't think we hit any of our critters, which is good. And let's go uh, artillery over there, and boom. Two minutes and 36 seconds. So not a good time, but that was kind of tricky. We had to kind of spread out everything uh, as we were going. I'll blame that uh, time difference on the chicken, but let's see what uh, let's see what Shady Mike got up to over here. So my base is basically, uh, it's more of an anti-bomber base, but you see this guy's using, using Seekers as well. I'm finding it really hard to talk today. I don't know. It, it, it's just the chicken's, like, nose is messing around. But, uh, um, okay. So, he's he's using Seekers. And uh, he's going up. Okay. So, he just smoked all through there. How did he knock it all in my engines? Oh, he hit that shock mine there. So, yeah. It's definitely worth it to, to stagger the shock mines. And uh, the grappler, man. I love the grappler. It just does so much work over... Uh, over a good period of time. All right, so let's get in, let's get into one more battle here and uh, get our last chest, and then we'll just kind of go over um, our next plans on the tech tree, where where we're hoping to uh, to end up on. Whoa, this guy's a one, two, three, four, five, all right there. Um, now for this base, I don't think seekers are going to be optimal. I think we're going to be better off just going heavy bomber. Um, so let's just grab a bunch of uh, let's just grab a bunch of bombers. Now he's got. This guy's got four max rocket launchers. This is so weird. He doesn't have any boom cannons, right? He's got a laser, but no boom cannons. Okay, so let's take advantage of that. We'll go another boat of heavies. This is really weird. Um, all right, so let's start off from the side over here. And we're going to need brick for this one. I feel like we're going to need a lot of shock, so I'm not going to spend a ton of GBE. Because everything's so clustered together, right? So we can get a ton of value out of our shocks, and uh, I feel like that's going to be the best way to go. Rockets, I'm not worried about. I'm not really worried about anything uh, taking the heavies down. I just don't want those... Uh, those rockets will do some work on the bombers, so we got to be careful about uh, the bombers stepping into range. But other than that, we just have to shock and kind of clear as we go. Um, I will shock the... Um, uh, I will put the shock launchers down just so the rockets don't get any really good looks at the heavies. Um, let's go here with some critters just to distract for a minute. Get that laser coming into play. It's looking good. It's looking good. Three minutes and 12 seconds. Wow, this guy's taking down our base quickly. Okay, let's go another battle orders. Uh, let's go like this again. A little bit late on that one. That's okay. Saved another shot. Wow, he's. I, I can't believe he took down our base that quickly. We'll see how it actually plays out, but I mean, it looks like we lost this one. <laughs> what a weird base. This whole attack was just strange, man. 
Okay, bombers, do some work for us. I'm very close to getting medkits too, which is going to be nice. Okay. Like, I don't see how we take that base down faster, to be honest. Maybe we flare on engine rooms instead of just taking out all the defenses. But, uh, yeah, 2 minutes and 30 seconds is not a good time. But I really want to see what Mike did to us uh, to get such a good time. I guess it wasn't that good. It was 254, but uh, probably. I imagine he's using some form of Seekers. Maybe it would have been better off using Seekers. I don't know. That base just kind of threw chicken for a loop. That was different. Um, what did this guy do? He's got Everspark and Bombers. And then he's got Seekers on the right. Okay. You know, at least he was creative. That's cool. He's flaring the bombers because the seekers don't matter. So, an interesting attack nonetheless. Let's quickly go over the tech tree guys before we sign off. Um, not really any great changes, but uh, we're gonna go med kit. I think. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go med kit, bullet, and then scorchers barrage, and then probably damage amp. Uh, depending on. Uh, I also have to get rock launch and never spark still. So we got a lot of work left out for us guys, but. Um, but yeah, there is Seekers in a nutshell. Let me know if that helped you out. Let me know if you have any uh, other secret tips that you would uh, like everyone to know. Leave that down below in the comments. I'll pin the best one so everyone can see it. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one. Guys, check it out. Bear, bear.